G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this particular video is we're going to be looking about how to subtract large numbers from one another. Okay, so here we go. Now, this video is not designed, by the way, to do things rapidly. It's just designed just as a basic way of subtracting one number from another number. So, before I start getting lots of comments, oh, I learned how to do this in school. This is designed for guys who are probably going to school and still learning how to do it, or maybe you didn't learn how to do it. So, uh, this is okay. Anyway, say I was to get you to take off a number from another number, and we'll do. We'll, we'll get some big numbers going. 165 take away 24. So, the way that we do these sort of numbers, when we start getting to bigger sort of numbers, is we first off we we write them a little bit differently from this. We write it uh, so one number is above the other number. So the first number we write down is the number where taking the thing away from. Okay, usually it's going to be the first number. It's going to be the first number on this side. So 165, and then we write this 24. So the units of the 24 line up, the tens of this line up. So I'll show what I mean. So 24. Okay, you see what I mean there? The units line up. Okay, and the tens line up. So I put a line underneath, and then I start answering from right from the units, tens. Okay, so five take away four. Well, the answer is one. Then we get along to the next to the tens. Six take away two. The answer is four. And one take away nothing. Well, the answer is one. And that's our answer. Okay, did you get that? All right, I'll go to something a little bit harder now. Okay. And the question I'll put up now is, say you get something that's a little bit different. Say you get something which is 257 take away 38. All right, how would we write that down? Well, once again, we write it so 257. We put the 38 here. Take it away. Put the lines there for answering it. Now, 7 take away 8. Hey, wait a second. What is 7 take away 8? And you might think, wait a second, I can't take 7 from 8. 7 smaller. 8's bigger. How can I take? And, and you're right, you can't take it away straight away. You have to get a bit of extra numbers over here. So you have to borrow some numbers. So what we do is we look over to this next number here, to the, uh, to the left of the 7, and we take one of the numbers off that. So if we take one of the numbers off the, the 5, we end up with a 4. And what we're doing is we're taking a bunch of 10s there, so we end up with a 1 over here. Okay, so now we have 17 take away 8. So 17 take away 8 is 9. 4 take away 3 is 1. 2 take away nothing is 2. The answer, 219. I'll go through one more of those. All right. So the one I'm going to do, I'm not even going to bother write it down um, crossways. I'll just write it straight down. Uh, 1,056 take away 727. Okay. So 6 take away 7, we can't do. Okay, so I'm going to have to borrow one from over here. So 5 take away 1 is 4, and we're going to move that one there. 16 take away 7, the answer is 9. 4 take away 2, the answer is 2. 0 take away 7, we can't do, so I'm going to have to take one off here. Oh, it's going to leave me with nothing. I'll move that over there. So 10 take away 7 is 3. And now I have nothing here, so nothing take away nothing. The answer is 329. I'll put up a couple of questions in a second, um, see how you go answering them. The answers will come up about uh, five, six seconds later, so you might just want to pause it when you see the questions come. Give a few you go yourself and see how you went. Okay. So here's some questions. See how you go with them. I want to pause it. Okay. I'm going to come back in five, four, three, two, one. Here's the answers. So. There's your answers, 532, 1,109, 327, and 1,827. Okay, I hope you went really, really good with those. If you have any questions, let us know. See you next time.